Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest, sum of prefix score of strings. The problem states that you are given an array words of size n consisting of non-empty strings and you have to return an answer of size n where answer i is sum of scores of every non-empty prefix of words of i. So what is score? Score is defined as number of words which which is a prefix which has a prefix word for example let's say this is the word array a a b a b c c a b and the given word is a b so the score of a b would be equals to number of words whose prefix has a b so in this example this and this has prefix a b so the score of a b is 2 so what we need to do we need to return for each index, we need to return the sum of score of every non-empty prefix of words of i. For example, let's say this is the words array and uh, for each index, we have to return something. So let's see what we have to return for abc. So for abc, there are three prefixes, a, ab, abc, right? And you have to return the sum of score of all the three prefixes. So the sum like as we mentioned we know how to find the score so what is the score of a score of a would be two because these two are the only word which, which have a as a prefix similarly some uh, score of a b would be two because these two again are the only word which has a b as their prefix and lastly the what is the score of a b c a score of a b c would be one because there is only one string which has prefix a b c so total 2 plus 2 plus 1 which is 5 hence we return 5 so hope the problem statement is clear now how to solve this so you can see it involves prefix like we have to return we have to find or count the number of prefixes right so the best like you can solve it in many possible ways in this video we'll be discussing about two of the possible ways one is using try and second using hashing because whenever a prefixes are involved and you have to count something hashing are almost applicable so we will look at how hashing helps here and similarly like we can look at try as well because whenever prefixes are involved try also comes handy because try if you uh, know try try is built on the prefixes right so whenever you have to query something on prefixes try actually helps so let's jump into the, jump into the solution so we have these four strings right a b c a b b c b so we will build a try out of it so we know how to build try uh, there is a root node and for let's say we first insert a b c so we insert a b c now we insert a b so because a b is a b c is already inserted so we will just uh, iterate over it and that's it then we insert b c b c and then b b actually is already inserted as a part of bc so we will not do anything now what we need to find we need to find i mean to count the number of number of uh, prefixes which have a in them which have a b in them and which have a b c in them and so on and so forth right so now if you have to count prefixes can't you simply store the count of like number of times each of these nodes appears that would do the right because let's say uh, abc so when you are inserting abc uh, you insert a here so you add one to this node then you insert b here you add again one to this node you insert c here you add one to this node now you insert ab so once you insert ab you go like you always start with this node so now you insert a so uh, once you insert a this will become uh, 2 right and then you insert b so this again will become 2 okay now that's it you are done now let's insert bc so once you insert b you will add one here you will add one here now you are inserting b so let's say remove this and add one here which will which make it 2 so once you have this try let's say you have to find or count the number of prefixes which have a b in them so how can you count this just iterate over a b so let's say uh, we are iterating over a b so we are at uh, this node and now we 
sorry we are at this node and now we iterate we go to a then we go to b we reach here now whatever count here will be the number of prefixes which have this particular prefix in them right so now the problem is simple what you have to do you have to just for each string you have to iterate over the try and just sum all of its prefixes so for example for abc what will happen uh, you iterate over the try you uh, okay let's do this so you are at root now for abc you first comes a so you visit a now a has 2 so just add 2 into your answer set okay now b sorry so now b b comes here so b you add 2 again to the answer set right and then c so uh, for c again you have 1 here so you add 1 to the answer set total 5 would be the answer for a b c right so very simple right so what we have to do is we have to first build the try store the count because we have to count the prefixes only and uh, just iterate over the string and get the answer so this is one possible approach let's look at the code of this approach and then we will also look at uh, how to solve the same problem using uh, hashing okay so the code is actually simple so what we have done is uh, we build a try we insert every string into the try now for each word what we are doing is we are just iterating over the uh, word from the try and pushing back the answer so there are two two methods in the try insert string and query prefix so let's look at what they are doing so insert string is simply inserting a string starting from this root node which is the if you remember there is a root node right this is the top root node so starting from this root node starting from index 0 it will insert this particular string so what we are doing is uh, this is the actual insert string function so if we have exhausted the entire string we will just return otherwise we find the child if child doesn't exist we will create the child and then we will just increment the count of that child right so but we have seen right so we are incrementing the count every time we visit uh, any of the node so that's what we, we are doing and uh, finally we have inserted the index ind so now we let's insert ind plus one so just call the same function with ind plus one that's it right now for query prefix same thing uh, what we have done is like for query prefix what we want to find is we, we, we want to just sum all the nodes which comes in the prefix right so for abc we have summed this this and this node so that's what we have to do so if root is null we just return zero uh, if index is as, uh, as dot length so basically this will not come uh, you can take it in an exercise why this condition will not come and if i remove this condition as well this uh, solution will pass but uh, you can take this as an exercise now if index is length uh, as dot length so we will just return the root error count because that is the last index and otherwise we will return the current no current count plus whatever count is there after this index so we just call the same function with index plus one so hope you get the answer so uh, these are the only two function and node is very simple we it is uh, just like any other try node we have put an extra count variable here so hope this solution makes sense if you have any doubts in this problem please post them in the commentation below i will be happy to answer now let's look at the other approach which is uh, the hashing so whenever prefixes are involved or a substring is involved hashing can come handy so that's the entire like the entire purpose of this solution is not to let you solve this problem with hashing because this is very straightforward problem with try the purpose of me trying to explain this is to make sure that you understand how to apply hashing or how to calculate the hash of a prefix so let's say that you are given this all strings so we let's say we first calculate the hash of abc so for abc this is the hash so what we have to do we have to calculate the hash of every prefix so for like this is the typical so basically we 
take a prime p okay uh, why p is a prime we will discuss some other day but uh, we usually take a prime p and now we multiply it with the current uh, like we like raise it to the power of current index so for a the position of a is 1 right so we raise it to the power of 1 and multiply it with the current value so this will basically what you have to do uh, in while calculating hash you have to retain two information one what is the index right at which this part, this particular character occurs and second what is the character so you can calculate you can prepare any hash function that hash function should at least retain these two information that what is the index and what is the actual character so what we have done here is we have calculated like we have taken a hash function which is uh, uh, doing something like this so for index for retaining the index we have used p to the power of i so this will retain the index and for retaining the character itself we have multiplied it with as in uh, as i which is the index at i uh, sorry which is the character at per index i so you can take any other hash function for example you can also take uh, like you are, you can argue that okay if i just have to retain index and a particular character why can't we just do i plus si right so that is also a function of index and uh, character which retain the information of index and the character right but you can easily find out what is the collision point for this particular solution so basically you have to take a function or you have to prepare a function which is easy to calculate and which retain these two information and you have to make sure that it doesn't collide frequently so you have to minimize the collision right otherwise uh, your hash function is bad so that's where the entire motive of choosing this kind of hash function so basically if you try colliding it you will see you will face issue finding out the collision point for this particular hash function versus this hash function right so that's what we have done so we have uh, calculated the hash functions the hash of every prefix so for a it is just p into 1 for v 1 is basically i have uh, substituted a with 1 b with 2 c with 3 and so on and so forth so remember you avoid zero here because if you if you put zero it is very equal to there is nothing so avoid this thing because if it is zero a b c and b c would become same so again this is just uh, how to calculate a nice hash function so now once you have this hash function you can just apply the hash function calculate the hashes of every prefix so for a it is p into 1 for b is it it is p into 1 plus p into p into 2 and for c a b c it is this right so now once you have this hash function for every string you can put all of this in a set or a multi set because you have to count the num uh, count the occurrences now just count the occurrence of occurrences of p into 1 and count the occurrences of this count the occurrences of this and you will get the answer so hope this makes sense so the entire point of explaining this hash solution is to make sure that you understand how to calculate hash functions so that you can apply this logic in other problems as well so hope you get the solution i am not coding it you can code it yourself uh, if you want me to review the code please post them in the comment section below i will be happy to do that so yeah that's pretty much it for the solution if you have any doubts please post them in the comment section below thank you